What's up guys, I'm coming at you today with a quick unboxing and a first impression review of the Still Series Nimbus controller for iOS devices. So this still series controller, as you can see here, it was made for iPhones and even Apple TVs. And I wanted to get it to try it out with my iPad Pro, see how it works. So we're going to just unbox this real fast and do first impressions, hook it up to my iPad, go through the process real fast, see how it works, see if there's any lag or anything. I'm kind of curious. I heard it's really good, but let's get to this. So like I said, it's just in a box, pretty simple box. Let's put that away. Um, just a white box, you know, whatever. It's a controller box. Didn't expect anything fancy. Still series is a good brand though. That's why I went with this one and reviews sounded good. So nothing really too fancy in the box here. It is the controller right here. It resembles an Xbox controller. That's kind of why I went with this one because I do play Xbox. First impression, it feels pretty nice. It might be a little bit smaller. It does have the double triggers up there. It does feel like it has the buttons on the control sticks, but I did hear that for Fortnite, it doesn't work, but we'll we're, we're test that out when I get on there. You got the A, B, Y, X, and a menu button. The other item in the box is the instructions. The other item in the box, and other than that, it's just a styrofoam casing here. Now, as far as charging-wise, it does not take batteries. Uh, at first glance, it looks like USB-C, but it's actually charged by lightning port. So you can just use your iPad charger to charge it. I don't, I don't think you can charge lightning to lightning. I don't even know if there's cable for that. I know... Like iPad pencils would charge through the lightning port, the first edition ones. But lightning port, it does have a sensor up here. It lit up there. It is charged, it looks like. But okay, let's jump out of here. Let's go over to the iPad, get connected, and let's see how it works. So here I am in the settings here. I turn on the device here. There's a Bluetooth button here. I'm going to hold it and push on it. It's blinking red now. And as you can see, the Nimbus did show up down here. We're going to click on that. Connect it. And app not installed. It's telling me there's an accessory um, to install if i like to get it. I am going to ignore that for now. It says connected. I don't know if it works now. Now I'm going to pop out of here. I'm going to load up Fortnite here. Which is a new season here. And there we go. And I'm going to try to see... And right off the bat, I'm pushing left to right. As you can see, it is moving there, and it seems response. I pushed X, and it did go into squads, going by what's on the screen here. So it looks like it actually set it up already a little bit. I am pushing the left trigger right now to go left to right. So I'm just going to go into here. I'm going to go into Team Rumble here. Go ahead and hit the Y button as it shows on the screen here. So far, um, as far as the menu goes here, it does look responsive. And the buttons feel good. The sticks feel very, uh, they, they're not loose. They're tight. They're, they're not responsive. I don't know if you ever use an Xbox controller. It's been used and it just feels sloppy. This does not feel sloppy at all. It feels really good. If you're using an Xbox controller so far, I would say you would love, love this controller. Now, I am a little curious here. If you look at this controller real fast, the one red light button's on here. Uh, I don't know what that is. Uh, it has numbers one, two, three, four. So maybe you can have four controllers up connected uh, to an iPad at once. I'm not sure. That would actually be kind of kind of cool. I don't know. Maybe for like sports games, basketball, Madden or something, you can connect more than one of these to an iPad. And I have dropped, and I am turning around. It is being responsive here. I'm definitely liking this so far. A button did bring out my glider. As you can see, I'm just moving around, and it is being very responsive here. Uh, it doesn't feel like there's any lag at all. I'm going to hit the A and get my glider down there. Uh, now, the one thing I'm going to say, there's the X. That was very responsive. My actual, I was kind of wondering about this once you got a controller in game. If your bonuses or assist still work on an iPad since I'm using a controller. So far, it is showing me where the chests are down there. I'm kind of curious to see if it shows my footsteps around here. And also, I'm kind of curious about the aim assist. Now the triggers are switching back and forth, amazingly. Um, fire button is top right trigger. I'm just going to show you here, I'm just doing a circle. Doesn't feel like any lag at all here. Feels just like an Xbox. Uh, iPad Pro, in case you don't know, it is running at 60 frames a second, so it does run Fortnite re very well. Lay button is jumping, hit, hit, 
it it synced up very well now i will say the buttons for the joysticks are not doing a crouch um like an xbox would so i'm probably going to have to look into mapping my keys i also got to look into how you build um I, my b button does pull up my build menu and hitting well yeah hitting the actual thing does start building so that is pretty nice i kind of want to see if i can get builder pro kind of like xbox i'm kind of curious i want to find a bad guy here to see if my footsteps still show up there is a chest showing up that my teammates getting this is a lot better i even thought this was going to be i actually had to figure there was going to be lag in here uh it is running over bluetooth there's a bad guy there look at that oh 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 one shot first shot with his controller killed him obviously he was hurt but Look at that. Look at that. That's amazing. Compared to playing with touch. If you ever played on an iPad or anything, you realize touch can be difficult. But this is pretty amazing. I didn't get close enough to that guy to see to see if I saw his footprints. There's a guy right there. And he's dead already. But as you can see, look, it pulls up real fast. You can see my trigger hit, 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 hit. I mean, it's, it's on sync. It's sinking very nicely. There's my footprint, so it is showing footprints here. You know what's kind of odd right now? I was trying to test the auto aim. I think it was shooting automatically like it does for an iPad. I'm trying to see if there's aim assist. Doesn't look like there's aim assist with the controller. Actually it did. It is falling there a little bit. So I think there's still aim assist on when you have a controller or an iPad. It actually feels a little cheap. I think they should change that. And they might. You never know. Look at that headshot. So I can definitely say, just playing this quick game here, this controller, the Steer Still Series Nimbus, it's responsive. It feels good. It feels just like an Xbox controller. It doesn't feel cheap. It has some heft to it. Uh, the response the response is on time. The D-pad actually brought up that uh, the emotes. So the D-pad's bringing up my emotes. Oh, there's my crouch. My down on my D-pad is actually mapped to my crouch, so that's pretty good. So my overall first impressions of this controller is I think it's going to be amazing. I'll do some more testing here. If you have any questions or comments, definitely leave them here. Uh, let me know if you have one, if you've liked it or not. I will update this as I play with it a little more. Maybe I'll try it with some other games. If you want to see that, let me know. I'm kind of also curious how long the battery is going to last. Uh, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to me if you want to stick along here, and let me know what you want to see, and let's play some Fortnite. Let's see what this can do. All right, thanks, and I'll see you in the next one.